Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beings who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, plop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Hmm, they're quite late. They should be here by now. They messaged me they'll be here in the next 10 minutes. What's keeping them waiting? Hmm, one of them could be a listener. <laughs> that could be them. Um, hey! Hi! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's me, Leorio. What, were you expecting me to be a, that old? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry, I, we're, we're literally the same age. <laughs> yeah, it's finally great to meet you. Like, sorry, I'm just nervous. I never realized how beautiful you really are. Yeah, I thought you'd be, you know, catfishing me, but... <laughs> You look- you look exactly like your profile pic. Yeah. I wasn't expecting how adorable you really look and how short you are. <laughs> um, please, um, let me push this chair for you. Mm. There you go. And I'll sit over here. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 I'm not upset, no. You were not late. Like, I understand. Gotta look perfect. I bet there's traffic. I think everyone's coming home from work. You know how Mondays are. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the person that I made a reservation pretty much got the date wrong. It was supposed to be on Friday. But then we have to move it because, you know, I had to work on that day. And scheduling, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. I try to, like, um, find cures for, curable, like, make a curable, dis like, for curable diseases, so, um, yeah. Yeah, I told you about that. It's because of my past, of my friend dying of a horrible disease, and I wanted to do something to help children of not dying so young, I may say. <laughs> Have I ever thought of having kids? Well, there was this one kid, well, two kids that I knew, back when I took the hunter exam. This boy, my gosh, he was so inspiring. For a 12-year-old, like, he was, he was just, he blew my mind that he really is full of positivity and strong hopes of finding his own father. Even though his father is a complete dipshit. <sighs> Even though I may not be his father, but I would like to be his father. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, I'd like to know you. I want to get to know more about you, listener. Please, um, let's see what's under that beautiful brain of yours. Excuse me, sir, but we got your wine. Hmm? Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I purchase some wine. Would you like me to pour you some? I mean, I can get you something else if you like. Alright. Just tell me when to stop, okay? Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> um, oh yeah, um, as, you were, as, a, as we were saying, um, tell me about yourself, listener. Well, that's very interesting. I never knew you can be in the fine arts. I mean, you do you. I mean, I, th I believe I th you sent me one of your arts, right? Yeah. I never knew you can get in so much detail. I swear, if I own an art museum, I would place most of your works in there. 
like a like a studio tour. Of course I would mean it, even though I don't really have that much money. I mean, yeah, as a doctor, yes, I do get paid a lot, saving lives and curing people from deadly diseases. <sighs> even though they, I sometimes spend it a little bit, you know, on fancy suits, new glasses that I got. Like them? <laughs> oh, you like? Oh, you like them? You want to give them a try? Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Sorry. Why do you look adorable in them? <laughs> oh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, I can still see, don't worry. I mean, I can already see you clearly. <laughs> okay, now you're just being too sweet. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, um, I know this is going to seem a little cliche and a little weird. What was your first thoughts of, you know, what would I look like? Like, how do you imagine myself before meeting me? Oh? You thought I'd be short and overweight? <laughs> you didn't believe my profile pic? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no joke, that's actually really funny. But nope, you thought wrong. Technically, you're going on a date with a tall, handsome, and very muscular man. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I got muscles. Hmm. Maybe if we, you know, go on a few more dates and get more comfortable with one another, maybe I'll be able to show you some. Hmm? <laughs> Wait, what did you just call me? Uh. Uh. The way you say it, it's like... Oh my goodness. No one has ever called me... Mr. Leorio like that. <laughs> yeah, I know my profile name is Mr. Leorio, but the way you said it in person is just... I, I never knew how adorably sexy you say it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Sorry for the commotion, but are you two ready to order? Oh, yes, um... Let's see, um... Ooh, I would just like the, um, the medium rare steak, please. Oh, and instead of the mashed potatoes, just the baked potato, please. Alright, and what about you, ma'am? Alright, I'll get the chef's cook and we'll be ready in the next ten minutes. Any appetizers for you two? What do you say? Oh no? Okay, I think we'll be good, okay? Alright. Be ready in the next few minutes. Thank you. A uh, pardon, listener? Am I... <laughs> I'm... I'm 20. Don't worry. I mean, I can prove it to you. Speaking of that, I, I don't know how old you are. Like, oh, well, how old are you? <laughs> I don't want to sound personal. I mean, I don't care if you're, I don't know, two or three years older than me. Then I'm completely fine. Oh. Looks like we're close. <laughs> yeah, I used to... Back in the hunter exam, people would pick fun at me for calling me an old man. Just because I look older. And when I told them I was a teenager, they were shocked. I had a friend, um... His name was uh, Kurapika. And, you know, he's part of the Kurta clan. He was 17 at that time, and he looks like he was, like, 13. I don't know why. Like, I envy for his youth because, I don't know, I think it was a lot of stress I was going through. Or genes, you know? He's a really sweet guy, and uh, let's just say he's going through a lot because he's going through um, revenge, like, obsessive of revenge on the phantom troop and killing the ones that killed his clan a few years ago and i absolutely respect him 
I'm still holding up on, you know, trying to call him. I'm just worried about him. Hmm? Aw, thank you. I mean, that's what us friends are for. Mm-hmm. I hope he's doing well. Don't? Oh, um, you know, if only he was my son, I'd... I'd be happy. He kind of inspired me to have a... Like a child of my own. If I ever meet the right person, like... So far, I'm really enjoying our company together. You don't seem that bad. And meeting you in person, it's like I've known you forever. I know that seems pretty cheesy, but I'm literally being truthful. I want you to be honest, and it's okay. I respect your opinions, and for a woman, I respect you. Um, what are your, I mean, what's your opinion of, you know, have you ever thought of having a baby or kids? A maybe. Hmm. I mean, I completely understand. Babies can sometimes, you know, it's a lot of hard work. It's developing a human being to be grow up, growing up and mature, learning ABCs, one, two, three, do, re, mi, you know. <laughs> I mean, I think it'll be like an experience, like raising a human being to be the person to have a career or be, be someone. I find that very beautiful about humans. We get to discover more. <laughs> I mean, I've traveled a little bit. Just to, just for fun. And helping out, of course. <laughs> I mean, there's always 50-50, you know. <laughs> What? You got a problem with me holding your hand? I gotta say, it's really small. Compared to mine, which are humongous. <laughs> your food is here. Oh, well, that was quick. Enjoy. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, what's that, ma'am? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Um, let me, let me go grab it, and I'll be right back. I promise you. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Ever heard that saying? To test if you're a good person, you need to be respectful to the waiter or waitress. <laughs> or you're just a very kind person. I can sense it. A good aura around you. So much beauty and positivity onto you. <laughs> Hmm. What? It's cute when you eat. I don't know. It's like... I can s I know that- I know this is gonna be pretty weird, but... <laughs> Kurapika told me he did like a little psychic around me, and uh... He said that I do have a bright future to find someone. And that person would be... Who I'm going on a date with. Mm-hmm. He even gave a really good description of what my date would look like. I mean, short, adorable, beautiful, and really nice body, no offense, and into fine arts. That's what he said, not me. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this date, and I'm glad I finally get to meet you. I say we should do this again, if you're up for it. <laughs> you enjoyed it too. Well, I'm glad. Because I wanted to make my first date, well, our first date, to be more romantic. And I think you deserve a very romantic date. <laughs> Listener, it's okay. Just call me Leorio. What would happen if you kept calling me Mr. Leorio? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see what happens if we ever make it to our fifth date.
<laughs> Making you flustered, huh? I think it suits you. <laughs> no. Let's get to eating. I don't want my steak to be cold. Ooh! Oh my god! Ooh! I think they added spice to it. Ooh, it's really good. Well, maybe we can order dessert later. I'll let you pick. <laughs> Darling, it's okay. Relax. I'm a doctor, remember? I can pay all this. It's the man's duty to pay for the woman. Of course. Choose any dessert you want. Maybe we can share. I'm <laughs> just joking. I think the chocolate truffle looks really good. Yeah, the cheesecake. You want that too? Well, let's finish our fi dinner first, and then we can get to the chocolate truffle cheesecake. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get eaten first. You need some vegetables in you first, little girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll shut up. Yeah. Let's eat.